three, two, one, boom! What's up, y'all? Dan with Mad Nasty Trapping coming back at you again. And we're gonna try this again. Still trying to get it right, still early in the season, guys. I hope by the midpoint of the season I'll have all this figured out. But lately it's been a whole bunch of signal drops and bad reception, weather issues, overcast, cloudy, anything you could throw at it. And then throw YouTube dropouts and throw Facebook dropouts and dead zones and copyright claims. Oh, let me tell you about copyright claims. I've gotten five copyright claims in the last week for videos that I did last season. Ah, annoyance. Well, what are you going to do? Nobody else does live on the trap line because of all this. I promise you that. I've seen some daily catch updates. I've seen some uh, semi-live on the trap lines. And what y'all other people are doing. Because nobody wants the hassle of running it live. If it ain't social media that's making it a hassle, it's some of the empty catch buckets and empty catch sets and all the empty catches that the others don't want to show. They want to just show catch after catch after catch after catch. But I'm telling you, Mad Nasty Trapping shows it in its entirety to the best of my ability with the exception of dropout zones and maybe some lousy camera footage because I have no cameraman. I'm a one-man show, yo. So, that's how it is. I'm going to keep on trying live on the trap line until I get it right. So, I'm sitting here in front of my first set. Yeah, it's about, I don't know, 100 yards ahead of me. So, I'm going to click the light off and roll to the first set and let's see what we get hopefully we get some more people jumping up in here y'all go ahead and chat in the comments i see we got one viewer so let the entertainment begin mad nasty trapping rolling on let's see what we got on the line tonight boys Okay, now, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I run bucket sets. Michigan legal counterbear bucket sets with 220 counterbears, Duke brand. I run them in garbage, or uh, in five gallon pails and uh, half covered by lid per state law. I run them with sardines and 220 counterbears. That's my set on those. That's half the line right now. The other half the line is uh, DP, dog proof traps. So those are baited with dry cat food and a little bit of marshmallows in there and some of Michael Taylor's baits and lures, Little Bear. So it's been paying off in the possum count lately and the, uh, the coon counts down don't know why but I'm gonna continue to run my line and hope for good catch regardless of catch or no catch it's still a good time out in the woods let's see what we got I'm in front of the first set and let's roll this has not been a very productive set it wasn't a productive set last year and this year it's proven not to be either we will see if it starts to pay off Coming up for the first set here, guys. And that's a big no. Nothing, nothing on that set. Back to the vehicle. On to the next. I haven't done too bad the last couple days, guys. The last couple days, I've been pulling pretty good numbers. <clears throat> Heavy on the possums and light on the coons. But it is what it is. 
think I've gotten something like 10 possums and two coons in the last two days. Better than coming home empty handed, but these possums keep screwing up my coon sets and the coons ain't moving yet. Which is good, I guess. I mean, I can wait on the coons and then hit them hard when the season produces prime furs, right? Let's see what we got in this set here. Coming up to the next set. Go ahead and uh, like this video, share this video, and always hit that subscribe and notification bell, guys. In front of the second set here, let's see what we get. Second set. That's a big no. That's a no go on set. Empty set. Empty set. Back to the vehicle and onward. Even on these empty sets, guys, I'm still enjoying my time out here. Hey, post up in the comments, guys. Who's watching right now? We got two viewers. Say hello so I know who's watching me. Come on. Coming up to the third set here, guys. Let's see what we get. So far, so good on the signal. I'm liking that. It's nice for a change. As I say that, it probably drop out on me. Okay, third set. This is another set that has not been real productive last season. I placed it in the same spot this season. We'll see if it pans out. These ones that are not productive sets will get relocated here probably within the next week, week and a half. Maybe this weekend. If it's one that's not been productive for me, it's time to uproot that trap and move it on to the next location. You know, I've been trapped in this area for three, four years now. There's a good chance I've trapped it pretty heavily out. And that's another no. That's a no-go empty set. Empty. On to the next. That's 0 for 3, guys. Okay. Onward. Okay, here we go, rolling up to the next set. Now I had a possum in here the other night. I'm hoping I'm starting to weed these possums out of here so I can get onto more lucrative critter. But we will see what happens. Let's take a peek at this set. That's a no-go. Empty. No catch on that one. Rolling on. I think I got one more bucket set, guys. One more kind of bear bucket. And then it's going to be on to a couple of DP sets. Now, I don't know how the rest of y'all trappers are, you know, with your DP sets, but my DP sets, they've been, uh, they've been whacking heads off of chipmunks lately. I've had quite a few with chipper heads in the tubes. Hit me in the comments, guys. Say hello. I believe we're still broadcasting live here. So here we go. We're in front of the next set, guys. Let's go see what we got. Roll it.
Da, 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 da. Oh, not good. Not good. Another empty set. Bunch of empties today. Bunch of empties today. No? Not even halfway through the line yet. My spirits are high and I still think we're gonna get a couple tonight. A couple of something, something, something. Who knows what's further on down the line. Lately, the coons that I've been getting have been nice sized coons. They haven't been little ones. So, you know, I like pulling numbers though. This one's coming up. This is gonna be another bucket. And then after this one, it's followed by a double set of DPs. And this year, guys, I've been running my buckets, obviously. I've been running, you know, my bucket kind of bears on single sets. But I've been running a lot of kind of bears on, uh, or a lot of DPs on double sets. I'm just trying to get my catch count up. I know that these coons, they run in packs. Apparently the possums do too. And it's not real uncommon for me to go on uh, on setting two or three traps in a location, to have multiple catch on that location. When you catch one, it's pretty common to catch a second or a third. So rather than spacing it out over multiple nights, just wham jam them in the same night. Let's see what we got on this one. This one had a possum in it the other day, so it might be another possum up in here. Mmm, no. No, no. That's a big no. Empty. All right. And the next set we're coming up to, like I guess that's a double DP set. Duke DP double set. It's either Duke or Z trap. I don't know which I have on this one. And this has been the. Uh, the minds of many a chipmunk lately. This one is night after night. Something good beyond just chipper heads. Are you freaking kidding me? Again. Again. Eating the chipmunks. So, since it is happening every night that I get these chipmunks in there, they're getting eaten. In Guys, the Akakayo uh, is set using the same trail. on YouTube channel Mad Nasty Trapping guys. Signal dropouts are hitting me hard tonight. Uh, catch count so far is one possum halfway through the line. I'll try to bring you guys but just be aware signal dropouts are hitting me pretty good tonight guys. next set so we get yeah that last possum was caught on a 220 kind of bear bucket set and uh, on sardines as bait so right here nothing another empty set back to the vehicle and onwards we go Our 
viewers up. Come on, Facebook viewers, YouTube, I'm trying from YouTube, or it's a better platform to run with less dropouts. I know a lot of it has to do with my cell phone service carrier. Loadings to be that YouTube is the way to go right now. And I'm also told video quality, sound quality are both better on YouTube. So we will see. I'm in front of the next set here, guys. Top out. See what we get. I'm only about halfway through the line. There's some addition. There's still some time to get some coon catch on here. Hopefully something a little more than just possums. <clears throat> this one's been a pretty productive set. But it's not proven to be tonight. <clears throat> no. That's a no empty set. Empty set. Back in the vehicle and onward we go. I think I should be able to pull that off, right, guys? Uh, I don't know how good the video is going to be, but whatever. I can drive with the light on a little bit here. Okay, we are coming up to our next set. And in this location... a new area that I'm trying out. This is a DP set. Let's give us a whirl. Come with me. And that's a no go. No critter on that set. Nope. On to the next. Check these sets out, see what we got here. This slide location's a single. And that's empty set, empty set. Not good there. So and over here's a double set. This was a productive set last year, guys. Let's see. No and no. No's. We did have some rain set in last night too. Now, I ain't gonna call lousy night on the rain, but I checked it fairly late last night. So a portion of the catch that I got last night could very well possibly have been catch. Oh, uh, now we will see.
All right, guys. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm sitting at 30 minutes on this live stream, and it hasn't been real productive tonight, as far as view count goes. Uh, you know, I, I will try running YouTube live again tomorrow night, and we'll see what happens. But for now, I'm gonna jump over and broadcast the second half of this trap line. Hey. We got Kevin Vincent up in here. Yeah, I don't know if notifications have been sent out tonight, buddy. I'm trying here. Uh, I'm more than halfway through the line right now, and the catch count's only one. I got one possum on the line. Um, let me go check this. This is a double set on a clear cut row, double DP. Cat food and Michael Taylor's little bear lure. I'll try this one. Now these were a productive set last year, so I'm assuming they will be again this year. It's not good when you walk up to a DP and you see mice scatter. Empty these. I know, right, Kevin? It's not like I haven't been trying all night. I got a possum already. The coons just, I guess the coons aren't moving in this area yet. This is a productive area. I did a lot. I caught a lot on these on these locations last year. It's just not adding up right now. All right, we got two viewers in here. Who else is watching? Yeah, I agree, man. You know, even if I come out of here with nothing, man, I'm still enjoying checking my line. I'll ever get tired of checking my lines out here. Just to up once a woman kids go to bed. Hey, well, I'm here. Let's give this one a whirl. This is the last. This is the last set on this string. And then I got another three buckets all the way. So it'll be good, guys. But let's hope for something in here. Come on. That's what you call empty. Still got bait. Empty with bait. Damn. Okay, yeah, I don't know what's, I don't know what the deal's been, you know. Maybe you were low in the cup. Who all is watching? No, Kevin's watching here, but he's getting lonely, looking for somebody to talk to. So come on. Um, I'm doing my best here, guys. I know this is making me lose viewers, but there's nothing I can do about it. These are dead zones and dropout zones in the woods, guys. That's why nobody else is doing live on the trap lines, because they would run into this stuff and give up. I don't give up very easily, but I just got to figure out where these dead zones and dropout zones are.
done here. It ain't over till I say it's over. Again, I'm working with, trying to make it better for all my viewers. We got four viewers up in here. If you could, please comment in the comment box, guys. Hunting, but it's enough. <laughs> Placing new fresh sets on the line. And still monitoring the available time I have each night and how long it takes to check my trap lines so that I can still legally check them every 24 hours. Still have enough time in the night to get some sleep for work the following day. And that's a no. A no. Another empty. It's not looking like a very productive night, guys. Oh well, it's a nice night. It's not pouring rain. It's not freezing cold. So it is what it is. The last set, I, well, two sets ago. One of the issues I have with DP sets is mice and chipmunk. Them two suckers will rob your bait out of your DP sets faster than you can imagine. Oh well. Keep rebaiting it and do what we got to do to get catch. We got four viewers in here. I'm not seeing any comments, guys. Yeah, I'm not keeping signals. A coon catch. Stay tuned for pictures on Facebook. Dan with Madness Trapping. Sorry for the inconvenient zones. But I'm out. Thanks, guys. Much love. Subscribe. Notification bell. YouTube channel. Matt Trapping.